Today we'll look at radicals. We'll simplify, multiply, divide, rationalize the denominator, and add and subtract. To simplify, we're going to look for the largest perfect square that, be, that the radicand is divisible by. And these are our common perfect squares. First 12 perfect squares. So to simplify the square root of 32, we rewrite it as the square root of 16 times the square root of 2. The square root of 16 is 4, so 4 square roots of 2 is the simplified version. Here we have the square root of 75 x to the third, so we're first going to simplify the number. So the square root of 75 is the square root of 25 times 3 which is 5 square roots of 3. The square root of x cubed, so we take the exponent divided by 2 is 1, so 1 on the outside and 1 on the inside. So to write it together, outside the radicand we have a 5x, and inside the radicand we have 3x. So that's the simplified form of the square root of 75 x to the third. The product property. Square root of a times b equals the square root of a times the square root of b. And we just did that when we were simplifying the radical. We're going to factor the largest perfect square in another number, take the square root of the perfect square and put outside and leave the other number. So the square root of 9 times the square root of 9 can be really written as the square root of 81, which equals 9. The square root of 3, 3 times the square root of g times the square root of 2, g to the third. So we have 3 on the outside, and then multiply. We have a 2 underneath the radicand and a g4. And that can simplify to 3 g squared square roots of 2. Next example, we have 2 on the outside. And when we multiply the two numbers under both radicands, we get a 5. We have an m to the third and an n squared. So the 2 stays on the outside. The 5 stays on the inside. We have one pair of m's with one left over and a pair of n's. And the quotient property, the square root of a divided by b can be written as the square root of a divided by the square root of b. So we can write them separately and see if we can simplify. So instead of the square root of 5 49 we have the square root of 5 over the square root of 49, which equals, I can't simplify the square root of 5, but the square root of 49 is 7. The square root of 11 over d4 is equal to the square root of 11 over the square root of d to the fourth. The square root of 11 over the square root of d to the 4 is d squared. A quotient with a square root is in the denominator is not simplified. To simplify, multiply the fraction by 1 to get a perfect square radicand in the denominator. So when we're going to multiply by 1, we're just not going to use the number 1. We're going to multiply the radicand over itself. So in the denominator, if we have the square root of 7, which is an irrational number, to rationalize it, we're going to multiply it by the square root of 7 over the square root of 7, which is 1, and it'll help rationalize the denominator. So in our first example, we have 7 divided by the square root of 6. So we can't have an irrational number in our denominator because you can't divide by an irrational number evenly, easily. So we're, what we're going to do here is we are going to go ahead and multiply this by 1. 
So instead of multiplying by 1 over 1, I'm going to be strategic and I'm going to multiply whatever's in the denominator. The square root of 6. Well, the square root of 6 over the square root of 6 is 1. So now in my numerator, I have the square root of 6 over the square root of 36, which is 6. So now I've rewritten this with a rational number in the denominator, or I rationalize the denominator. So we'll do the same thing here. We have the square root of 3. No, we're not. We're going to multiply by 1. We're going to multiply by the denominator. So the square root of 5a over the square root of 5a. So in the top, I'm going to have the square root of 15a. And in the denominator, I'm going to have the square root of 25, which is 5, and a squared, which is a. Like radicals can be combined by adding and subtracting. Add and subtract the coefficients and keep the same radical sign. Keep the radical the same. Sometimes you need to simplify the radicals before adding and subtracting. So we can add and subtract radicals just like fractions. In fractions, the denominator has to be the same. With radicals, the radicand has to be the same. So the square root, 7 times the square root of 14 plus the square root of 21 minus 4 square roots of 17. So that leaves me with. I can add these two, square root of 14 and minus 4 square roots of 14, because they have the same radicand. So 3 square roots of 14 plus the square root of 21. 5 square roots of 7 plus the square root of 28. Well, I can't add them, but can I rewrite the square root of 28? Well, let's think here. Square root of 4 times the square root of 7 is 2 square roots of 7. So 5 square roots of 7 plus, instead of the square root of 28, I can write 2 square roots of 7, which gives me 7 square roots of 7.